everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I am back to um, do the uh, Happy Mail video that I was telling you guys about. So, I have a huge box right here, and it's so big, I can't even fit it here. So, um, I've just opened the tape, so I didn't have to pick at that and make you wait. So, I'm just going to pull pieces out and uh, show you because it's crazy. This is from all from a friend of Robin's, my lovely friend Robin. Um, she sent me this gigantic box oopsie, with all this stuff in it and so some of this may end up in my shop. Um, I, you know I don't know yet, I haven't looked at it, I just know it's a lot and I just don't have any more room even though I would love to, you know, obviously keep it all because it's a lovely, lovely gift. Um, Robin did say that, it, you know, she understands and her friend understands that I may need to uh, sell some or something. So anyways, there's that one. And I don't know yet what I'm going to do because I just received this. So I'm just giving you a heads up that it, some of it may end up in there. Okay, and I think I'm just going to move this chair. I have right here and I'm going to set these on the chair as I go through them. Okay, and another lovely table runner. That's so pretty. Some of them I may scan first <laughs> and then, um, you know, it may end up selling them. That's just beautiful. Like a lotus flower. It's so pretty. Man, that's just a lot of work. Gorgeous. So thank you so much to Robin's friend, and I'm sorry, I apologize, I don't know um, her name, but thank you, thank you, I really, really appreciate it. And I forgot to ask Robin yesterday. Isn't that beautiful? They're just lovely, and that's another um, like small table or table runner type piece. And there's another little, or maybe the top of a dresser, I think is where this one probably it was. Very lovely. And this is a huge box, so I will understand if some of you get bored and move on. Because <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Beautiful. And some of these smaller ones I'll just leave there for a second. And here's purple. <laughs> just a little bit, though. I'm not sure. This is like another dresser type piece. Let's see, isn't that lovely? With the, it almost can be like an Easter basket or, you know. So very, very pretty. A, a stitch in time saves nine. Nice. So there's that. Okay. I'm trying to go as fast as I can here. And this is another doily type piece. Gorgeous. That's a big one. And we have more purple. These I will probably keep to do covers. Because like I said, I don't have much in purple. But yeah, I just don't have any room. I know I moved into my bigger room, but um, I just don't really have a place for fabrics, unfortunately. This little tiny one, isn't that adorable? Those are great. And a kind of taupe colored one. This one has gorgeous lace. Look at that lace. That is fabulous. Beautiful, beautiful piece. And this fabric is fun to layer with. And then this one with the lovely corners. And there's all little designs in this as well, and I don't know if you can see them in the camera, but it's lovely. And then we have this piece, which is uh, just a printed piece, so it looks like kind of like poinsettias printed on there. Very pretty. And a lovely... Um, yeah, baskets, like flower baskets. All embroidered all over. This one's more of a full square type. All different colored baskets. That is so pretty. That's a great Easter piece. 
one of these. These are great for covers of journals because, you know, they're a great size. And these are great for cutting apart. Look at all those flowers. Fabulous. Big, big, big doily. Very nice. Thank you. Oh, those are very cool. And then this. What the lovely. I don't even know what that is, honestly. I don't know if it's just a trim that has been stitched in there or if it is like a tatting type thing. But it's very pretty. And this one is really large. Wow. I don't even know. I guess maybe on the back of a couch or something, like you know, basically like a blanket. It's got animals all over it, and there's like a ship. <laughs> That's funny. And then this one. Love these super fine doilies. They're just great because they, you know, they don't take up a lot of space. There's another super fine one. And green. One of these days, I have got to do a um, St. Patrick's Day digi. And I just, it seems like it's always crazy, and then by the, you know, time I might be able to get around to it, it's too late. <laughs> I don't know what that's about, but that's pretty. Cool shape on that. Maybe this is super pretty and fine as well, very fine. So, the little colorful flowers. Love it. And this is very cool. And a collar. It's very pretty. And we have some doilies. So these, if I do make bags, obviously every one is going to be different. And so I'll probably say this number of pieces for this price or I don't know, something to that extent. I don't really know because I've never sold stuff like this in my shop, so I'm going to have to figure that out. That's cool. Very pretty. Very, very nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is a very bright one. Look at that. Wow. It's got another little piece of string stuck on it there. Fluff. And another tiny one. I love those. Those are awesome. And then a hanky. Hankies are great for covers and stuff. And layering this really thin fabric and it tears usually really well. So it's very nice. These all, it looks like they had something spilled on them because they're in their fold and um, it's only on certain parts of it and they both had it on there. Oh my goodness. This is a whole like uh, trim cut off of something because you can see where it's been cut off. That's really cool. That would be great to tie around a journal. The right kind of journal. And there's another one, a trim of something. There's a little piece. Oh, that's cute. It's all finished, not cut at all, so that's cool. Alright, and we have, I think this is uh, like a tablecloth on a smaller sort of table, but look at that. I did um, ribbon embroidery, and I think I've said that before, for a while. This is different, but it reminded me of that with the rosettes like that. That's beautiful. Look at that. It's a lot of work. Gorgeous, thank you. And we have a whole bunch of hankies. Those are very pretty. Ah, uh, Lily of the Valley. That's my birth month flower. Very nice. And these. So delicate. Very pretty. And then this piece, 
tool looks like it was around a table cloth or something like that. Wow. Oops, sorry, hit the light. Oh, at least it was just the light and not everything. There's another trim sort of piece. Those are great for tying around journals. Those are just nice to have. There's another one that go, went around something. And yellow. Wow, that's really bright still. That's amazing. It's very pretty. And there's this one. That's a pretty color. This one's kind of a similar, darker <laughs> color. And that's been cut off of, or the center cut out or whatever. Man, it's faded. It's That's cool. I don't know if it's just sun faded or wash faded or both. Probably both. It's very cool. Okay, and we have another large... Oh, there's two. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat just caught. Two large pieces. I'm not even sure what those are, if anybody knows. Do they go on, like, curtains or tablecloths or what? I'm sort of clueless on all these things. I was, just, I was raised by my dad, and we didn't have any of this sort of stuff. <laughs> so there's a lot of stuff I'd, I do know about, but there's a lot I don't know about. Yeah, I've not seen anything like that. Oh, there's three big pieces of that. I'm going to move these out of the way. Okay. Oh, wow, this is awesome. Look at that. I wonder what, if that was like some sort of collar. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh. That is beautiful. Look at those roses. That's probably something that I'll hoard for sure. That. Um, so this is really cool too. Move this so we can see stuff a little better. These are all similar color ways. Large. Yeah, isn't that pretty? Those flowers are gorgeous. Look at that. Reminds me of wheat in the centers there. That's really cool. Sorry, those lights. I don't know. I got those new light bulbs and they do flicker a little bit and I'm not sure why or when they decide to flicker because it's very random. I don't know if it's like heating up or too hot or what the deal is. There's a collar. Very pretty. Must have been for a child's. That is a tiny hole. <laughs> There's another one. Oh my gosh. Are these little hats? Oh my goodness. Or what are those? Are they, are they like little bells? Maybe they're little bells. Those are adorable. Like to, probably to hang on your Christmas tree. My goodness, those are super cute. And then here's another trim type piece. And this one's the same. Sorry, I know I'm going through these fast, but if I don't, we're going to be here all day long. Nice. That's cool. I've never seen anything like that. And you know, the way that it's stitched. I've seen doilies before, but <laughs> this must be like a collar too. Huh, interesting. Or just an unfinished piece. That one. And this one. This one reminds me of kind of like a spider web, the way it's got these long pieces like that. Very cool collar. Or, I'm not sure. I think it's collar. There's another one that almost seems like a spider web. And there's a smaller version. Large doily. My goodness, this is incredible, you guys. I just can't believe you sent me all this. <laughs> Thank you, it's super kind. It's just wow. 
amazed you can find this much of it. I cannot find this much of this kind of stuff anywhere in my area. Oh my gosh, that one's awesome. That's another hoarding one. Probably it kind of reminds me of the uh, lace on my wedding dress. Oh, that's cool. Very pretty. That is really cool. Amazing all the different, you know, ways. I mean, I guess it's like anything, but just amazing how many different styles and things there are. Especially, you know, I don't crochet or do any of that, as I've said before. Isn't that cute? That's probably a baby. I don't know. It's, I guess, maybe a table runner or a, for a dresser. I was thinking a baby blanket because it's super fine, um, thin. It's pretty. Pretty, pretty. These are some more, oh, like, those angel-looking pieces. Those are cool. And more bells. And then this is a, oh, another bell. And this is a trim. Super cool. Oh my gosh, it wrapped all the way down and around in there. Oh my gosh, look at all the bells. <laughs> these are so funny. I have never seen these before. These are adorable. And look at, I love the tag on here. Of course I do. Because paper is, of course, the, the first love. Look at that collar. Wow. I don't know which way it goes. Very cool. Wow. It would be something to dress and all that stuff. I mean, a pain in some ways, but really cool in others. <laughs> Very pretty trim. This is um, into my sort of era. 70s is what this makes me think of. It must have been around something. And this trim. And then there's part of a, I don't know what, but part of it. <laughs> and a doily. It was well loved, whatever it was. Is it supposed to lay flat or is it supposed to go over the top of something? But look at all the little roses. It doesn't seem to want to lay flat. I think it's supposed to go over something. I'm not sure what. If anybody knows, let me know on that too. Another trim. And these are, again, great for a journal cover. Here's another uh, piece that was cut off of something. I just am amazed that you guys found this many. I wonder if that was supposed to be like that or if it was, or I wonder if they bleached it or something. I don't know, but there is color there, but I don't know if it was part of it originally or if it got on there from something else. That's a lovely piece. This is gorgeous lace. Yeah, that's beautiful. Wow, this stuff is so thick. I mean, it was all like that, that's why, but look at that. There's just gobs of it. That is crazy. I guess that went around something probably too. And another little belt. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there, I swear. You guys are probably like, oh my gosh. Because I'm like, oh my gosh, so... This is gorgeous. Man. Oh, that is really neat. Robin, you really should open a little Etsy store and sell stuff. I feel guilty when you send it all to me. That is so pretty. There's another one about like half. Oh no, this is a whole, whole table one. Maybe they just get puckered in the middle from being folded for a while. There's another strip type something. 
And another one. That one's really wide. Wow. Okay, we got some sort of triangular trim, and this one, look at that, it's so pretty. And a big, that's a big one. And another bright one. I think you've sent me one like this before, I'm pretty sure. It's really close anyway, it's cool. I love those like textural. And again, that 70s look, I'm pretty sure. Oh my gosh, look at the grapes. <laughs> you should feel those. Those are crazy. And there's littler ones too. How funny is that? Okay, get this over here. And there's an itty bitty. That one's awesome. One with four, two. Oh, I love that. I love those circles. Look, it was not finished. That's cool. And here's another trim that was on something. That one. Oh my goodness. There's two little birdies. Aww. That's cute. I'm going to set these aside because I think I'll put these in a different place because otherwise they will just get lost in the shuffle of the vortex. Oh, and there's more of these. These are really cool. I'm not sure what those are either. I don't know if that goes along with like Christmas ornaments or what. Okay, this is a bigger piece for, I guess, a table because it's long and not very wide. So I'm assuming a table runner. And then that one. There's another one that wasn't didn't get done. It's a super cool one too. I love those circles like that. What is this? Oh, it's like a little teacup and a plate. <laughs> it looks like a teacup on a saucer. <laughs> that is funny. And another trim. <laughs> That's a hoot. I gotta show that to my daughter because she's my tea teacup collector. <laughs> And she did like that scarf, Robin, <laughs> that you sent me the other day. I knew she would. I looked at, took one look at that and it was like, that's my girl. These are super, these are a great size. I love stuff like that. Because you can just, wow. It's so tiny. All these little swirls stitched in there and stuff. Smaller stuff I'm going to keep somewhere else because otherwise, like I said, I'll never find it again. Now, somebody tell me. What is that? I mean, that can't be a hat, right? This would be like all in the kid's face or, you know, and I don't even think anything's small enough for that. I didn't know. You guys are probably laughing hard right now. Because <laughs> I'm so clueless. Uh, this is gorgeous. Look at that. That is beautiful. Beautiful. And there's another one. And another tiny one. And ooh, look at that. Ah, that's so cool. Very cool. That's beautiful lace. Oh my goodness. Crazy. Is this? What is this? Oh, it is a collar. My word. That is crazy. There's snaps on it. But look at that. How pretty is that? That is so cool. Let's 
another one that would be a good tie and another little doily this is beautiful that must be I wonder if that's another I don't know I guess not it's too wide around here probably went I don't know around something this is beautiful the embroidery and then I love it when they start getting the holes in them because that tears like no other into just nothingness you can just easily layer it under stuff very pretty we're getting there I swear this is the last little stack lily that's quite the color combo there <laughs> sorry truck truckville usa around here uh, isn't it such a shame when stuff gets a stain i mean it works great for us but it's just because all that work and then that happens bummer that would be right look at this all the daisies yeah that's another huge piece my goodness it's getting holes in it too wow and it's got the holes you know the circle in the middle that is gigantic not really gigantic i guess but it's pretty large there's another little little fine lace one and that's the last one and it is a big one, so another sort of tablecloth type thing, I'm assuming. Wow, that's quite the color combo, too. Huge piece. Look at all that. Talk about a ton of work. Beautiful. Thank you, thank you, ladies. Um, so kind of you to send it to me. I just am amazed. I just really think, Robin, that you need to... And I've had other people say that too, um, that you need to open an Etsy store and sell these because, you know, there's a lot of people looking for them. And you went to all the work to, you know, find it and everything. You should really benefit from it. So anyways, I thank you both very, very much. I really do appreciate it. So um, thank you. Love you all. I'll talk to you later. Bye.